Hello to all, myself Dr. Risha Mahajan and in this video we are going to discuss about fluoroscopy. I will cover the introduction, procedure, uses, benefits versus risk and the limitations along with the indications and the contraindications. Fluoroscopy is an imaging technique that gathers the real-time moving images of the internal structures in fluid using a fluoroscope. Fluoroscope is an instrument with a fluorescent screen used for viewing the X-ray images without taking and developing the X-ray photographs. So with the help of this fluoroscope, the images of the internal structures in the fluid can be seen. This technique uses a contrast tie that moves through the part of the body being examined, thereby allowing the healthcare providers to look at many body systems like the skeletal system, digestive system, urinary, cardiovascular, respiratory, and the reproductive system. During this technique, the individual is exposed to radiations. Procedure of the fluoroscopy is that the individual is asked to remove any clothing or the jewelry that may get in the way of the body area to be examined. Also, the individual may be asked to remove their clothing and in that case, a gown will be given to wear. Then a contrast substance or a dye can be given depending on the type of the procedure that is being done. Depending on the procedure to be followed, the contrast can be swallowed or it can be given via the insertion of an IV line into the patient's hand or the arm. Then the patient is moved onto an x-ray table and asked to move their body part. A x-ray scanner is then used to create the fluoroscopic images of the body by taking a continuing stream of the x-ray. So approximately 25 to 30 images are taken per second and these images can be viewed on a monitor sort of a like a television screen. Therefore the whole procedure mimics an x-ray movie where the continuous images display on a monitor. Fluoroscopy can be used in a variety of procedures and the example includes the orthopedic surgery where it is used to observe the fractures and to guide the fracture reduction. It can be used for the catheter insertion so as to observe the blood flow and for detecting the blockages in the arteries and then this procedure is called as angiography. It can be used in the barium x-rays where the individual is asked to swallow the barium and the procedure then allows the doctor to see the movement through the GI tract. Fluoroscopy can be used in the blood flow studies so as to view the blood flow to the organs can also be used in case of injections into the joints so as to view a joint. So in that case it is called as the arthrography. Procedure of fluoroscopy can be used for locating the foreign bodies. Then it can be used in cases of the percutaneous vertebroblasty so as to treat the compressed fractures of the spine. And the last one is that it can be used in case of injections into the spine so as to have a image guided anesthetic injections. So this is how some fluoroscopic images look like. Talking about the benefits of fluoroscopy. If a patient is in need of a fluoroscopy, then the benefit outweighs the minute risk. It simply means that there are chances that the individual may get affected by this fluoroscopy since there are certain kind of the risks which are associated with this procedure. But then if the patient is in need, then all the benefits they outweigh the minute risk. Also the radiation exposure rate it is much lower for a fluoroscopy when compared with the radiography. Following are the indications of fluoroscopy. An orthopedic surgery angiography, GI tract pathologies, blood flow studies, locating the foreign bodies, percutaneous vertebroblasty and injections into the joints of the spine. Contraindications of fluoroscopy are pregnancy and allergy to the contrast media. If in case a female is pregnant, she should always inform her technologist about her pregnancy. If an individual is allergic to the contrast media being used, then the procedure of fluoroscopy is contraindicated. So what are the risks of this procedure? Since fluoroscopy it is an x-ray machine, so it has the same risk as other x-ray machines. There is small possibility of developing cancer due to exposure to the radiation. 
also the individual may get some injuries like burns which can be caused due to exposure to the radiation limitations of thoracoscopy so sometimes the positioning become difficult for many patients and this procedure it is a time consuming procedure as we know that it requires injection or injection of the contrast so sometimes patient cooperation is required so this was all about thoracoscopy in brief thank you